So the largest egg producer in the United States sees a huge profit, 718% profit growth, but just 1% increase in eggs sold. Now, this is something I wrote earlier in the week, and I want to earmark it, if you will, because it's insane. I think we can blow it up a bit more. Yeah, um, because you're just like, well, wouldn't they be getting insane profits because they are selling way more eggs? The answer is no. So don't take this as me saying, hey, we should, you know, force them to put their prices at something. That's not it. But this is just pure greed in a time where people don't have a lot of money. And if you buy your own groceries, if you pay your own rent, if you buy your own gas, you'll notice, of course, the last couple of years, everything has skyrocketed. But and this is not a credit to Trudeau or Biden. Inflation has eased incrementally over the last four or five months. It's gone. It's flatlined and gone slightly down. So it, unless somebody wants to explain why prices are still increasing, I'd like to hear it. But what it seems to me is that many companies are still increasing profits because they're seeing that it's working and people are still buying it, even though their costs of services, their landed costs are not increasing as well. And this appears to be the case for this company called Calamain Foods, the largest egg producer in the United States. So they increased profits by more than seven times despite selling only 1% more eggs. And this is from CNN. And, you know, we don't trust CNN because they suck. Even if their digital is much better than their newscast by a thousand percent. I still checked other sources for this, of course. Um, more, you know, financial leaning outlets. Uh, they control about 20% of the egg market. I thought that might be funny. And sold just a single percentage point more of eggs in the quarter ending in February 2020. 23 with an overall revenue increase of 109 percent up to 997.5 million however profits increased to 323.2 million from just 39.5 million the year before so they've gone up an insane amount imagine you're you're a stock holder in this you own shares in this egg company and it's worth this much money last year in 2022 and then in 2023 it goes up by almost you know like 10 times here uh 39 million to 320 million um maybe eight and a half nine times more you're going to be excited so investors.com explains the discrepancy discrepancy in the figures first by noting that the third quarter profits in they, they blew through their projected profits which were 575 percent a lot to begin with and blew through them and went to 717%, increasing stock prices by over 662 a share. So that's quite a bit if you have your own stocks. Calmain Foods increased its price for conventional eggs by 152% in the same quarter, up to 368 per dozen. Comparatively, the average selling price for specialty eggs was 262 per dozen. So not only are their conventional eggs expensive, but they're far more expensive than specialty eggs, even, you know, your organic eggs, whatever buzzwords they're selling you. The chickens are pet every day. They're, you know, they get to watch chicken. <laughs> I was going to say chicken fights, but they probably don't want, they probably wouldn't feel good about that. Um, down with cockfighting, you guys. An increase of 70 cents per dozen since Q3 2022, uh, when approximate, when prices were approximately $1.92. So this means that the egg producer priced its conventional eggs more than a dollar higher than the average specialty egg with the company saying that to be atypically atypical historically. So they're even admitting that this is odd that their eggs, their, their regular eggs are much higher than the average specialty eggs. They, they found that, you know, atypical. And the company CEO named Sherman Miller um, reportedly said to investors that the earnings Increases due to average selling prices of conventional eggs increasing along with a high customer demand. So not only are they just increasing the profit margin, of course, there's a higher demand. And then another thing they said is that it, it could be because the avian flu. But they also admitted that the avian flu has not gone through any of their farms. Uh, the CEO claimed that the avian flu has caused increased costs and supply chain problems. But it was also reported that there have been no bird flu outbreaks in any of their production facilities owner contracted by them. So basically what's happening here is this egg company is jacking up the prices and they're continuing to jack up the prices, seeing huge profits. And then they're saying, they're telling to the people, they're telling the people that it's because of avian flu, which is, which is making it harder to ship everything and harder to get as many eggs, obviously, but that's actually just not happening to them. So they're increasing 
the prices of the regular eggs higher than specialty eggs for literally no reason other than profit. Do I do I think that means we need to shut them down or regulate their profit margins? No, I'm just pointing out that you need to start shifting your dollars away from these large companies that keep raising their prices. Now, there's a bre bread company, an Italian bread company up here, and we noticed that their prices kept going up. And then the last time we brought bought groceries, it actually went down by more than a dollar. So they went up to like three seventy nine or something ridiculous uh per loaf and then they brought it down to, to it may, maybe it was 329 and brought it down to back to 279 something like that but they they kept going up and up and over the last month um they actually brought it back down and that's what needs to happen is they're going to keep taking profit as much as they can and you know bless them for it. that's free country but if you want to hit them where it hurts then you have to stop buying it and the and the, the prices will eventually come down. More and more people are buying Walmart brand or whatever the inherent brand, the no-name brand of the grocery stores are. And I bet you they're seeing a huge profit gain as well as these giant companies keep increasing their prices. Now, it's weird up here in Canada because the dairy market is very regulated. They call it the dairy cartel often. You won't get a, a carton of milk from the United States here in Canada because the, excuse me, the tariff is way too high. I took a Britain's Lewis Brackpool of uh, iconic media, formerly Rebel News, um, to a grocery store here, and he was just flabbergasted by the amount of milk choices. We've got every type of milk, every type of chocolate milk. There's fridges, there's aisles full of different types of milk, and then there's tons of different egg types, tons of anything that's dairy. We've got far too many choices. Of course, choice is great, but they're still increasing the prices even though it's regulated and even though we have it in abundance so a brick of cheese is going for eight dollars here when it would normally be somewhere between three and four dollars you see what i'm saying how as long as pe people keep believing that it's the government and inflation that's increasing the prices people are still going to buy it at these heightened prices because they think there's no choice and there's nothing anybody can do but in situations like this it's actually the company just saying, hey, people are going to keep buying it, so we're going to keep selling it at that price.